All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round two of the Tecmo Owners League preseason tournament. I am a bit downtrodden as my team has already been, well, not eliminated, but kicked out of the winner's bracket. Um, but I see my good friend Joseph Reedman Weep Moore has made it to the second round against Mike Petrosic's Eternia All-Stars, who make their triumphant return. Mike's team last year suffered a terrible, terrible tragedy. Um, the one-hit wonders are all, I think they perished, folks. So it forced Mike to return the Eternia All-Stars back to uh, league play. Um, and then Joseph Reedham and Weep Moore's team... He's got a brand new theme, the the Newberry Winners. And let's get the uh, kickoff underway. Uh, excuse me, the coin flip. Looks like Newberry is going to return. And let's see how this goes. This is a big matchup. Congratulations to both teams for making it to round two of the winner's bracket. Here we go. Crumgold looks like a very slow returner. Let's see what we can tell about the Newberry team. Called play on the very first play of the game. That won't tell you much. Uh-oh. Looks like the second play will be a sack by Triclops. So a third and very long here. This is not the way you want to start off. Wow. So a called play and then two sacks. And the Newberry winners, or excuse me, the Newberry something or others, are going to punt on their first possession of the game. The Attorney All-Stars will have excellent field position here as they cross midfield, and they will start their drive at the Newberry 49. Play action pass here. He's got options. Connects with man at the 20. Diving grab there, looking crisp. Looks like they called the same play. No, they didn't. They actually hand it off this time, and it, it is snuffed out. Loss of three. Run straight up the middle. This one will be a touchdown. 23 yards. He-Man will score the first touchdown of the game. Eternia All-Stars Make quick work of the Newberry new team. Well, folks, in games with those three-minute quarters, it's really tough. When you start the game off like that, you can't waste entire quarters. So let's see if Newberry can pull their heads out of their asses. The reverse running play... Wide receiver two, breaks a tackle, first down and then some. 14 yards all in all there. Pro form here. The offensive line struggling to hold up against the Eternia pass rush. Gets the pass off anyway, but only for five yards. The re wide receiver reverse play is called again. This time they'll lose a couple of yards. It'll be third and eight. Four wideouts now for Newberry. Called, calls a run play toward the top sideline and gets just enough for the first down. Four wideouts again. Throws deep. Picked off. Thrown into coverage. The safety was there. The corner was there. Not a good decision. And the attorney all-stars will start the second quarter with possession. At their own 23. Handoff straight up the middle. That guy's lightning fast. He gets seven. Call play. Newberry takes him down for his sack. We have third and long already for the All-Stars. Play action pass. Wide open again at the top. This is how he's... Made a big gain before, and he'll do it again. Inside the 30, broken tackle. Inside the 20, all the way to the 14-yard line. Ready, 
run up the middle. Boy, that quick run between the tackles looks like it's going to work well for him today. Eternia now inside the 10. Handoff up the middle is snuffed out. So third and five. Can the Newberry winners hold them to a field goal attempt? Snuffed out again. My goodness. Two plays in a row where the Newberry defensive line handles their business. A nice short attempt here for Tila. Bounces off the upright and in. It is 10-0, folks. Still plenty of time left here in the first half for Newberry to do something here. It probably won't be on the kick return, although he does make a few moves. He does not look very fast. Run down the bottom sidelines. For eight yards. It looks to me like Newberry is a running team. I'm not positive yet. I'm going to need to see more plays. Oh, a sack. Completely nullifies the gain on first down. Third and long. Hand off to the top sideline. Uh, five yards there. Um, and with less than a minute to go in the first half, Newberry will punt it away. And Eternia will return it from their own, too. There is some time left. And if they do that play-action play once more... Oh, safety! I did not see Newberry getting on the board like that. What a turn of events. And there's still plenty of time for Newberry to score a couple of more points before the end of the half. Crumgold. Oh my goodness, what a return. This is exactly what they needed. Newberry... Down to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown, my goodness, a swing of 9 points in favor of Newberry right before the half. Well, that completely changes the complexion of this game, folks. 10 to 9, still time left on the clock in the first half. So much has happened with the time not moving one second. Nine points occurred in the second, 43 seconds of the second quarter. Interesting. Here comes Eternia once more. Looks like the defense has it pretty well covered. Certainly the long pass, the medium pass for 16 yards is effective, but only 21 seconds to go now in the first half. This play action pass has been a killer. But this time, the pass rush will get there, and that will be, excuse me, this will be the final play of the first half. It will be a pass, a quick pass, dump off to the running back who gets a handful, and here we are at halftime. So, we know that uh, Attorney All-Stars, owned by Mike Petrosic, has done a zillion hours of testing, and I also could tell by the Facebook message board that Joseph Riedemann, we put this thing together in about one day. So, um, it'll be interesting to see if all that testing pays off for Petrosic. He will start the second half with possession of the ball, and let's see what he does with it. Offset eye. Toss sweep to the bottom sideline. That'll give him a first down. 11 yards on the first play of the second half. Here comes a handoff straight up the middle. It appears the winner's defense is adjusting to that one. Here comes the HB toss sweep to the bottom sideline. That one is snuffed out as well. And we're already in third and long for the Attorney All-Stars. Let's see what they do. Quick pass. Nice play. The quarterback made an excellent quick decision in that situation. And on third and long... Plucks off about 30. Another run to the bottom sidelines. This time, this one will be for nine yards. It'll be second in inches. This is where he might do that play action pass. Then again, they are close to the end zone here. Four wide outs. Looking for a receiver. He's got one wide open at the goal line. It's caught. It is a touchdown. 
and the Eternia All-Stars, pending the extra point, will go up by two scores. Lord Skeletor, not skipping a beat, after missing a whole season, looks like he is in rare form today, making excellent quick decisions, not making any errors in judgment on who to throw to thus far, and it looks like he's got some throw power, folks. Fumble! That is the worst thing that could have happened to the Newberry winners. And uh, the Attorney All-Stars run straight up the middle for four. That was just a killer for Joseph Moore's team. Sweep to the bottom sidelines. He'll get enough for a first down and to be inside the red zone. 17-9. Coming toward the end of the third quarter. A run straight up the middle. Touchdown, Attorney All-Stars. 23 to 9. And Attorney is starting to look like a well oiled machine. So, if it is indeed true that Joseph Moore's team is a run lean or run heavy team, which I think it might be based on the play selections I've seen here. It's going to be tough to come back unless they start passing. Here comes that wide receiver reverse. Broken tackle by the wide receiver. Two broken tackles. All that effort only for two yards. Shotgun formation now. Can the pass protection hold up? Yes, it does. But he still takes the sack anyway. Stands there for what seems like an eternity and still gets sacked. And this time, oh boy. Almost a safety. And on the final play of the third quarter, Newberry will punt it away. It was almost blocked. The punter gets sent sailing. And man, he man, will return it. He will get it all the way back to the Newberry 42. And that will cost him Moss Man. His punt returner. The first injury of the game. At this point, the game is wrapped up. I'm not really sure how injuries affect uh, the preseason tournament. I don't see how they could possibly go beyond the game that you're playing in. In other words, that player probably won't be injured for the next round should he make it that far. A deep pass. I believe that one is He-Man on the top here, trying to relearn all the players' names and what positions they're at. And uh, Attorney is already in the red zone again. A sweep down to the bottom sideline. Gets tackled after a modest gain. They're at the five, looking for a touchdown here. They will not get it there. And the fumble, my goodness. That's exactly what Newberry needed. Oh, a broken tackle too. Inside the 20, the 10. Can he make it all the way? No, he cannot. He is at the six yard line. What a turn of events that was. Is too little too late though? That is the question. The pass protection holds up again. Still waited way too long to make a decision. Pass protection holding up again. No, it is not. But the fumble is picked up by an offensive lineman, and he will score a touchdown. It's not completely over yet, folks. Although, it appears that Newberry will need two successful onside kicks. And coming from the player two spot, that it does not seem likely. Here it is. Oh, not even a bounce. What a hands team Attorney All-Stars has. So they were gonna they're gonna need a quick stop here. Three and out. Or another turnover. Oh my goodness. Two broken tackles. And after a measurement, they will decide that he is short by a few inches. Newberry takes their last time out. 
19 seconds to go. Big pass rush here and a sack. It'll be third down now in 10. Possibly the last play of the game. No, nope, called play. So with two seconds left, Eternia will punt it away. And if this is, it is not a touchback, so they will have a chance to return it. But that returner doesn't do much with this opportunity. Interesting one there, folks. Congrats to Mike, Mike Petrosic, who advances to the third round of the winner's bracket. Um, the Newberry quarterback did not have a good day today. But the runners on the Newberry team did quite well. Looks like the game was lost in the passing game, or lack thereof. This is Joe Mitchell signing off. See you in round three, folks.